Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokelover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new game and campaign in Southern Victory, a mod that I've been waiting months for and have been really wanting to try out. So, we are going to play today as the <clears throat> CS, we'll call it, under Jake Featherston, in which, yeah, the CSA, and this is the look of the world, which looks honestly really, really awesome. Like normal though, custom game rules, nothing's going to be different, uh, we can change AI behavior, but since this, this is my very first campaign in Southern Victory, we might play several, we're going to stick on historical or canonical AI focuses, in which we are going to play as the good old CSA. So right before we get too far, a couple mods that I'm using, the normal ones that I use on my channel, colored buttons, colored events, player led peace conferences, state transfer tool mod, which will work I think with this mod, as well as Southern Victory, only five, I think I counted five there. Only five, but anyways, like I was trying to say, look at this. Look at look at America. Now we see Russian America up here, which I really don't like. Um, and thank you to all the developers, current and former, for making this. But like I was, I was trying to say, I don't like seeing Russian America. But you know, just look at the United States. Sure, we don't have the super southern portions of the United States, but look at that. We have Canada underneath us. That is mmm tasty, as well as Quebec. Because Quebec is an American puppet, which is, you know, okay, some French people. I can deal with that. As long as you own all of Canada and these little islands of Labrador and what what else not. But anyways, let's start off with a focus. Now, this is a unique focus tree. This mod only, at the time of this recording, has a few, not very many, but a few unique focus trees. And that's totally cool. It's still being developed, which is awesome. Anyways, I'm going to start off with the Confederate economy. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of reading. Um... Since a devastating defeat at the hands of the U.S. during the Great War, the economic situation has been utterly pitiful. The formal economic crisis was amplified twofold when the Depression hit. These unfortunate events have brought into question the economic practices of the Confederacy or one of free trade. The radical liberals are split between the want for a continued free market approach and the long sub blah 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 something about the Whigs blah 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 blah. Some political power plus 100 in order to encourage businesses to hire more workers, save for a few members who would wish to see more self-sufficiency in the nation instead of their reliance upon the nation's allies for certain goods. The most set in their ways of all parties is the Freedom Party with their goal bring, being completely self-sufficient and nationalization of key industries. Cool! The economy. And the good thing about our focus tree is that a lot of it is, I think, mostly 35 days, if not all focus, focuses are 35 days, which is actually really, really awesome. You don't want to go back to old vanilla Hoi 4 where you have 70 day long focuses. That's so draining. I'm going to focus on carriers in this campaign too. So before we begin, actually I should have done this off screen, but whatever. We're going to build up some good old civilian factories because I love my civvies. I hope you love your civvies as well. Let's do that there too. I'll put you up top because we're going to be building a lot. And that's the key to this mod, which I'll explain to you. I'll explain right now. Uh, we won't be at war for a very long time. So I can wait to do this stuff just a little bit. Just going to do that for now. Uh, let's see. We have fighters. We got close air support, which is nice. We're going to need some naval bombers as well. We need trucks. Armored cars would be nice. We can wait to do that, though. We need some trucks. We're motorized. Artillery is looking pretty cool. We got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No tanks, but we're actually... Let's get some tanks, because we will be focusing on tanks very heavily in this campaign. Uh, that being said, we'll go up, go up, train. These divisions actually aren't too bad. 18 combat width could be slightly better, but whatever. We're going to need a lot of these guys, though. Trust me, we're going to need a lot. And as you can see, Louisiana is demilitarized because <clears throat> we might have a certain long boy uh, down there who is causing a little bit of trouble for us. Motorized, eh, barrel divisions. We can make one. Barrel division at a time, train a couple garrisons. Uh, go with three for now because we got to guard several places. Now this is based out of of this mod. Southern Victory is based off of Turtle Dove's Southern Victory book series, which is really really cool. I actually haven't read them yet, but I really would like to. I'm just a little too busy at the moment, but uh, yeah, I I would probably recommend it. I would because I will read the series someday, but. I know a little bit about it, so that's why the CSA owns a little bit of Mexico. And let's see, some destroyers. I can't do too much. I can't think and talk too much while I'm doing other things. I can't multitask, and most people can't either, but that's okay. Uh, other than that, cool. Let's let time go on. Because, as I was trying to say earlier, this mod is a little slow to start for warfare, and that's totally okay because we're going to probably expect a ma the, the major war to begin in 1941. Not 1939, but 1941, because I've actually played this off screen quite a little bit. And as you can tell, we don't have all of Texas. This is called Houston, and this is Trans 
Trans Pecos is down here, and that's El Paso. So we don't own this. We don't own Oklahoma or Sequoia. Death of King George V. A new king, a new empire. We don't own Missouri Spike, which I actually haven't been down there yet. I think I, I've been down there before. Kentucky, and they actually, the great thing about one of the, this mob is they they split up America. Now, okay, splitting up America as an American doesn't sound very good, but they split up states. So we have Kentucky here, but we've got Western Kentucky, and we've got Norton, which part of Virginia, and Southern Virginia, but we have the Confederate economy. Next up, we shall do, well, we can't do liberalization because we are a certain <clears throat> ultra nationalist group under Jake Featherston, which honestly, the first time I see him, and every time I see him, I just instantly think of an older Drew Durnell. Like, can you not see him in that picture? He looks an old, grumpy Drew Durnell. Just awesome. But we're going to continue the three-year plan. Upon taking power, Featherson put into effect the three-year plan, an economic program designed to rapidly expand and industrialize the Confederate economy through autarky. Autarchy. Autarchy. And reduction of our economic reliance on foreign trade. Having been successful so far, we should continue these economic policies for the good of the nation. Full of the greatness of the nation. And before we get too far, uh, National Spirit's crippled economy looks terrible because of the Great Depression, which happened in 1929, I believe. We have National Revanchism, which is, has a very handsome guy on that little National Spirit. Cool. We have Black Guerrilla Rebellion, which means we've got to deal with some peoples. I will put this out there that... Uh, this is all fictional, and the beliefs supported by some of the people in this mod, I guess by, you could say, like, from Jake Featherston, do not necessarily coincide with my beliefs, but I'm just going to roleplay as best as I can. Wink, wink, you nudge, nudge, nudge. We've got some old guards. We've got the Treaty of Trenton, which is, uh, And we have unrest in Cuba. We own Cuba. Welcome aboard, Cuba. Cool. So we don't really have to do much with our military upcoming Olympics. The 11th Olympic Games have been set to take place in Richmond, Virginia this year. This international competition will be a great way to showcase the achievements of the Confederate States and to show the world the superiority of the Confederacy. And there's a small little typo. We must begin preparing. Yes, very good. And with you guys, we only have 24 subs. I thought we had... Ah, there they are. There they are. Cool. Cool. You shall be led by uh, Raymond A. Spruce. Very good. Good. Train. Split off when you need to. And, oh my goodness, this is not looking good. So, we have to divide up our navy like normal. Woo, let's go. Oh, local protests descend into riots. Oh, riots. Today, protesters from all Alabama defy the police, demanding civil rights and a better quality of life. The subverses were repressed by local security and have been transferred to prison. The president was upset by what had happened and ordered the security forces to do everything necessary to maintain public order. Local forces should be reinforced. Oh, man, we lose some stability. I don't know why my voice changed into that, but whatever. Cool. Uh, let's go up to 11 and throw on an Uno. Light cruiser. One, two. And give me one of them big boys right there. Good. All right, we're going to do the same thing. And this is a little annoying to do just because, well, I honestly don't really like destroyers that much. I don't remember the last time I ever actually purposely make destroyers. I just like having big task forces. That's how I like to play. Let's see. Let's give you two, one, and something more. There you go. Eh, good enough, whatever. We're not going to have enough screens for our capital ships, but, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. One, two. There you go. One, two, seven. Oh, Jake Featherston set to attend. Following in the footsteps of the most host in nations, Featherston has been set to attend the Olympic Games personally. Sources close to the president have hinted that he is especially well excited for the swimming section of the Games, always having been his favorite Olympic competition. Featherston's presence at the games is sure to bring a huge boost of morale to the competing Confederate athletes. This will be a go-rate event. Oh, prepare at Richmond Infrastructure. To host such a massive event, Richmond must be properly prepared for the huge amount of people bound to show up. Hotels, roads, gyms, bridges, parking lots, restaurants, which is spelled not completely correctly, whatever, shops, and everything else must be constructed. If the 11th Olympic Games aren't to go down in history as a total disaster for the uh, CS, we shall expand the infrastructure of Richmond. We get free infrastructure. What could be better than that? Don't know. Cool. My voice is changing all the time. Weird. Cool. One, two, let's go seven. Very nice. Now, I do want to leave one of these as a kind of a death stack like the AI likes to do. So, eh, give me two. And then we have three, so we need ten. There we go. And we'll leave the rest as a death stack. Cool. Everyone train. Oh, and before we get too far, we have 165. Now, we're almost done continuing the three-year plan. We could do Willie now, but something tells me he might not be here forever. Uh, I'm going to go with Willie not first so we can get get cheaper costs for this, which probably won't matter too much, but we will lower export books eventually. 
Uh, a trade economic conscription. Yeah, we're going to need to raise a conscription level eventually. Let's do that. It might not be really worth it, but let's continue on. Uh, stability would be really nice. The question of industrial centralization. So, the greatest economic question facing the CSA today is that of the distribution of industry. Proponents of centralization cite increased industrial efficiency and growth. Proponents of decentralization cite increased protection from enemy attack and more equitable distribution of economic opportunity. Ultimately, we must decide on our policy soon and do so decisively. Yes, absolutely. And look at all these people training. Great. I'm going to start pulling out like... Was it a bunch? Oh, a little bit of lag? No? Okay, well, you know what? Combine. Um, go ahead and take y'all back. Do that. There you go. And there you go. Good enough for me. Cool. Economic, or not economic, but electronic mechanical engineering. Get more research speed, please. That would be bueno. Good, so that stuff is all done. Now we're going to focus on our planes. Uh, you actually are already done. We got some tactical bombers here, which is, uh, okay. Actually, you know what? Let's not focus on planes yet. We gotta focus on our army, which is not looking very good. We only have 33 divisions. Uh, some garrisons, which are okay, but not great. Uh, before we go too far, garrisons. So, these guys will be doing suppression. Garrisons will be guarding the coast. So that'll be good to keep in mind. If that's the case, y'all come down here. Y'all gonna be under someone that's not super great. Such as Frank M. Andrews, uh, reconnaissance. Let's do that one just because I don't like these politically connected people. So, we can do the Confederate Army, but what we're going to do, and I do want to get rid of effects of the Depression, which happened with the three year plan and autocratic administration to get down to final economic recovery as fast as possible. So, we get to centralization, which looks pretty awesome. Or, we can do this one, which gives us almost actually this one, decentralization. 5% consumer goods on both sides. This one gives you 5% more max factories in the state, but this gives you 10% more. This gives you 5% more factory output, but this gives you 15, holy cow. Factory repair speed plus 5, 15%, 5% over here, but 10% factory repair speed on decentralization. Infrastructure, uh, construction speed goes up by 15%. Civilian construction speed goes up by 5%. While this one gives you 5, 5, 5. Um, I'm going to do the industrialization. I'm going to help out the, the more rural parts of the country, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Proponents of economic decentralization cite the increased protection for foreign attacks and sabotage and more equitable distribution uh, of economic opportunity. Though this makes our industry somewhat less efficient, this risk is far outweighs, is far outweighed by the benefit of the decentralization. Whatever. We're going to decentralize. That's the main goal right now. Decentralization. Cool. Now what's going on? And what, just, I, I love coming back to a mod similar to vanilla. It's like Kaiserreich or Fearreich. I love a Spanish Civil War. I love it so much. Uh, it, it brings back good memories. Usually good. Not always good, but usually good. You're like, ah. That means the mod developer's doing something right. You gotta have an early Civil War so you can test out uh, weapons of mass destruction. Hmm. Love it. Cool. And before we go there, let's make sure we garrison all these areas because uh, I'd rather not get hoodwinked early on and we have to garrison mexico and mexico if you don't know is our puppet the mexican empire is our puppet and we love mexico we love mexico so very much good 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 and you garrisons miami i've never been to miami i should go someday but then again going anywhere has a cost uh but right now so we're ultra nationalists and you guys are ultra nationalists good old ff right there double f it's like double d from ed ed and eddie but he's double f and you guys are alfonso He's kind of happy. He's kind of smiling. You know, he's got, he's got that nice smile. You, you just look more like, what's going on? I like his hairline, though. It's kind of fading. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's grab a couple of these guys. Tanks, barrels. Oh, <clears throat> not tanks. These are barrels. Sorry, these are barrels. Y'all going to be led by big old daddy, Courtney Hodges. Because you'll be led by a bigger daddy very soon. And Kingdom of Spain, we believe in a Spanish state. Just saying. Uh, Courtney Hodges, send a couple of fly boys over there too. Yes, please. Ah, yes. Good. I want to send one thing. Actually, do this first. There you go. Boom, boom. Send them on over. And we basically won the war. There you go. Spanish Civil War. Who shall win? I've got a good feeling. National Security Act passes. Who is this? What is that? What is that symbol? That emblem? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I've never seen that before. Also, we can arrest Cuban socialists and communist supporters, which we will do quite a bit in this campaign. So, yay. And are we doing... We're doing the Lord's work here? Ah, oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. 
carrier hulls, awesome. Basic machine tools, cool. Now, before the war starts between me and the U.S. up north, we are going to have to make sure that we have a god-tier navy. I really want a god-tier navy before we get involved. And we're going to focus on mobile warfare, I think. Should we? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we'll go with superior firepower, because I want to make sure that our lines are actually doing okay. You know, I think I might go superior firepower. Let's go superior. You know what? No. I lied. I'm going mobile warfare. I lied already. I'm not a liar. Not too much. Just enough of one. Just when I need to be. Cool. I love a good civil war. Also, this is uh, Europe. So Europe's got Germany's got a little bulge in France, which sounds really weird. Austria-Hungary still exists, and Serbia Montenegro is a puppet of Austria. And the Romanians are here. There's a free state of Constanta, or yeah, free city of Constanta. Bulgaria is pretty nice and thick. We have Albania poking its little pecker into <laughs> Serbia Montenegro. Greece is here, looking pretty good as well. Uh, uh, these guys, and pretty much everything's pretty normal. I just that little bold just concerns me a little bit going into France, but whatever. We have the UK, we got Russian Empire led by who? Mikhail. He's got a little trouble stint and a little chin, uh, chin stint and a little under his lip hair. And China, well, it's blue, so I already have a plus one to this because I like blue. So that's really good. The Japanese own the East Indies, which is a little concerning. Actually, the Jap Japanese East Indies. Oh, you're not you're held by somebody. You guys are liberals. Not ultra nationalists, I guess. And we have Deutsche Middle Africa, led by Vanato Vorbeck. Cool. This is a weird world. This is a really weird world. Weird world. But I love it. That's really cool. I'm actually really excited for this mod. Cool. And this is Daddy that we want to be led by. Good old Georgie e. S. Patton. Oh, he's an offensive type of general. And he's an expert, so. Now, how are we going to have a lot of fun with these folks? One step at a time. Cool. Uh, let's come back to our army. Let's actually talk about the army, just because we have a couple, two marine divisions, which are like eight combo with, or just one. Is it just one or two? Cavalry. Uh, I don't like that. Pull you guys up first. Uh, horsey guys. I don't really want to use horses since we have cavalry, since we have motorized. So I'm gonna just put you guys there already. Oh, I thought we had two marines. Huh. Well, when I was playing off screen, I did have two marines. Uh, in case, go six. Go six. Put you in half. Boom, there you go. And then we don't have enough divisions, that's fine. Actually, give me one. Two. Three. Uh that's good enough for now. Cool. And Jeb? Man, when you say Jeb, I gotta choose Jeb, right? Well, we're gonna choose Nathan. Because he might stay with us the entire time. We'll see what happens. No. Infantry leader, I don't like Kalas here because he's politically connected. Brehan, cool. We're going to choose Clara Chenault. Man, what type of dude is named Claire? That guy is. Cyril Lucian Truscott, yes. Yes, that'd be cool. We're going to choose William Simpson. He's better on defense, and we're going to defend major times over here. Leonard, I'd like more recon. Collins. I knew a girl named Collins. Last name Collins. She was crazy. God, she was nuts. Anyways, oh, uh, let's do that. God, I love what they did. Look at this. Like, Utah. Beautiful. Yinta. Hey, Yinta. Like, Old World Blues. Sweetwater. Carbon. Central Colorado. Denver. And L, Western Colorado. Love it. Marines. I'm not sure what to do with my Marines then. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. Hanging out. Having a good time. You just go and train. That's fine. Also, stockpile up stuff. We are lacking. We are seriously lacking, which is not good. But that's the case. Hold on. Before we do anything else here, don't want to forget these guys. I'm going to keep you guys... Well, let me go on here. Let me go on here. Got a couple more planes. One, two. It's fine. One, two. Throw you guys over here. Because we sent 200 already to Spain. You guys come over there. Any other things that we should be addressed? No. Also... Alright, so we got this done, so we can get rid of this, this. Uh, there's no point making those. This is nice. I don't like, I really, really, really do not like heavy cruisers. They have no real purpose in my opinion. But then again, I'm not an expert Hoi 4 player. I just play what I play. Anyways, we got enough naval XP. Let's make sure we get something good. Hangar space. Hangar space. Because I'm going to put a little bit of armor. I like putting just a tiny bit of armor on our things. Just a tiny bit. No radar. Totally cool. Whatever. Cool. We got a good carrier. Well, 
Okay, carrier. Thank you for playing. Cool. Also, we need better cruisers if we can. Oh, this is a heavy cruiser. Oh, that's a heavy cruiser? Oh, I don't like that. Good. Why do you have the shield icon then? No, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, hmm. Let's duplicate this. A light cruiser. There you go. Well, this is going to be a light cruiser. You're going to be keeping that shield thing because we're switching you around. This is lower production. Well, it actually might be higher production cost because of the, all the stuff that we're going to put on here. Uh, rapid fire guns. Good. Do we have anti-air 2? Yes, we do. Oh, we only have level 1 for these things, which is... Eh, I'd rather have it than not have it, I suppose. Not level 2, good. Ooh, hydrophones. Since we have them, we might as well use them. That one, that one, that one. Oh, crap. We don't have enough. No! You know what? Reset. My bad. My bad. You know what? I'm not even going to make them yet, then. Uh, if that's the case, make me two of these. Go Norfolk. And you do finish that one first. Cool. I want to maximize the amount of stuff we can use. Fleet is looking great. And for forget, did I raise this? Three out of five, good. Nice. I will improve working conditions when I can, but we're gonna switch out of civilian economy first. Cool. How's this looking? Are we hanging out? Are we having a good time? I love Spain. I love it. Malaga. Is now part of the Spanish state. Cool, I love these speedy boys. 8.7 kilometers per hour. Never fast enough. Cool. You can defend as much as you like. It's not going to do anything. Decentralization is amazing. Regional infrastructure for further planning. Yes, let us reduce the effects of the depression. So, regional infrastructure. Our infrastructure is far behind that of our peers in the world, and as such, we should increase funding to our infrastructure to try to get on par with the rest of our contemporaries. 100 political power, cool. I will arrest those people later on. Churchill's gamble. Democracy holds on by a thread. Dem Churchill is leading the UK. Actually, I'll show you my, I'll just show you right here. Near? Here. Look at that smirky little big guy. Good old Winston. God save the king. Hmm. Morale crisis, market crash. River overflows and floods a small town. A small town suffered a flood from a nearby river earlier today. People were evacuated, but there was still large material and economic losses for the small town, which has yet to register fatalities. The state has sent its condolences to the affected families and promised to support the reconstruction of the town for the neediest families. It's a disgrace. Awesome. Big red one. Awesome. Cool. And before I get too far, I'm just going to do it like this so that things get spread out more evenly, more easily, like that. And we can't deploy soldiers in Alabama. Not Alabama. Louisiana, I mean. Because, well... That god dang long fella. Cool, and these guys are gonna die because we went bye-bye. You guys go there, and you guys come here. This one's gonna finish. This one's gonna finish first, good. Head on over to Granada. Stadium constructed. The great Richmond Stadium has finally finished construction. The massive project has taken months of resources and time, but our effort has paid off. The stadium now stands towering in the Richmond skyline, ready to host the games of the 11th Olympiad and showcase the wonders of the Confederacy. A magnificent feat. Truly magnificent. Cool. We're going to go to partial mobilization because we will not be at regular war for quite a while. And you know what? Actually, do we have more so collectivists or socialists? Definitely collectivists. We gotta put these sons of guns down. Cool. Alright, next up, where's the best place to strike? Uh, maybe right here. Yeah, let's try that. We ain't got much room, but that's okay. Only 100,000 manpower. We have a core population of what? 36 million? That's not much. That's really not much at all. Uh, next up, yeah, 34 Street. Plus 5% ain't bad. Courtney Hodges with pa Daddy Patton. Mmm. Oh yeah, they can't pierce our barrels. No, no, no. Oh, look at that. They're dying. Well, they, 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 they literally died. Holy cow. They literally died. They didn't even like lose organization that much. They just died. And I love it. Oh, we gotta fi fix up Burgos. North of Burgos, at least. Nice. Very nice. Ah, regional infrastructure and further industrial planning. So, to maximize our output of military goods, we must further plan out our industry. Yes, please. Alright, so my goal is maybe cut these guys off, maybe get rid of the, the enemy's ports. That'd be kind of nice. Go ahead and move in. Uh, do we... Wuhan government is attacking National Unity Front in China. China's a mess, as we saw. So. Um, I definitely need some of this, so go ahead and switch over to that for now. I definitely need to start making some tanks. And making sure that this is set to high. Priority. Good. Go ahead and keep moving in. They still can't pierce us, so... 
And then just immediately move over that way as well. Yeah, no. We're just going to keep snaking around until we probably get encircled and destroyed. Keep this guy on his toes. Cool. Oh, uh oh. The German Empire is there. Well, are we doing any sort of air damage or anything? No. Um. You guys are doing pretty well. I could throw in more planes, but I'm, I'm lazy. Ah, uh, good. You moved in. Good, so we don't get encircled. Valencia, come on. Oh, they threw in another division. Fine. So be it. Fine. We're going to come here then. Get a little more organization first. Don't want to tempt us too much. Okay, go ahead. Good. And, come on. Oh, help out. Help out. You might as well help him out. Come on. Anti-Confederate guerrillas smashed down. A group of guerrillas from the northern states was killed yesterday morning by security forces. The confrontation took place on the outskirts of a town where the agitators were carrying out all kinds of riots. The president of the Confederate States of America took the opportunity to demonstrate all his anger against the American president. Death to traitors. Which is kind of ironic, but whatever. Whatever. Cool. Go ahead. Come on. Yep, there we go. We've cut them off from their own capital. It's a beautiful thing, I know. Actually, you don't attack. You just help attack. Cool. Propaganda opportunity. As a host country of the Olympics, we've been given a very special place on the world stage. An aura of prestige comes with hosting the Olympiad, and we can use this to our advantage. By engaging in a massive propaganda campaign, we can not only show the world and our own people that we were the best choice to host such a monumental event, but that the Confederacy is a special nation unique from the rest of the world and more prestigious than any other. I love this war support, stability, and all that good stuff. Mm. Next up, this stuff is okay. I don't mind Anne Colleton, because she seems really good. So, I'll probably get her next, because that factory output is something we could really use right now. Further industrial planning, and we shall do... We want to get down here as fast as possible, so amend the industrial clauses. The Confederate Constitution is perhaps one of the greatest founding documents in existence, but it has its fair shares of frivolous clauses. One of the most frivolous and restrictive of these is a prohibition on the damming of a river. Not only could the creation of these dams bring jobs to the Confederate people, but help with flooding, especially on states that border the Mississippi River. As such, Congress has something, something, something. How about we amend the clauses? How about that? That might do good for us. Hey, we cut them off too. Completely nice. Now, y'all struggling. Well, that's okay. You, you learn a lot when you struggle. Well, you should learn a lot. You don't always, but you should learn a lot, right, uh, Georgie? That's right. Also, oh, the games begin. After months of preparation, the whole world has descended on Richmond for the Olympic Games. And this is China over here. It's exploded. So, as the opening ceremony ran through the night and the national anthem of the Confederacy played throughout the stadium, cheers in honor of the Confederate States echoed across the nation. And too many, the beginning of these magnificent games has sparked, or marked a turning point in modern history, a stark contrast to the war and death suffered by the whole world just 18 years ago. Though the blood spilled from Virginia to Texas will never be forgotten, the Confederacy looks with hope to the future. A future full of peace and confederate hegemony. Let the games begin. The Richard Olympics. That's a beautiful thing they have here. That's beautiful. Which we want to do that. So, And we get special events concerning the Olympics. That is a special picture for the Olympics. Wow, I did not imagine we'd see that. Made the best win, though. Made the best win. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, I want socialite connections. Just because this output needs to be way better. And what am I building still? Isn't building... Yeah, we got three lines going already. That's very nice. Oh, we got them completely off. Beautiful. Confederate victory in sprinting. Jimmy Lubau, one of the greatest athletes in the Confederacy, has taken home gold medals in the 400 meter race and the 800 meter race. This is a great victory for the Confederacy. As Lubau tore through the finish line, the whole world witnessed the superiority of the <clears throat> of a certain race in its inherent form. Few will forget his great accomplishments in these games. Honor Lubau like a king. Every man a king, but no one wears a crown. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can, uh... I don't know what happens. Cool. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Hmm. Liberian victory and long jumping. The fanfare of Louval's victory has not lasted long, though. To the horror of Featherston and his supporters, a Haitian black man has taken home gold in long jumping, obliteration of his white Confederate opponents. This loss has seriously damaged the Confederate image of <coughs> white... I'm not sure if YouTube will allow me to say that, but whatever. And it cannot go unpunished. Some in Featherston's inner circle suggested more direct action to deal with this disaster. Who could ever know it was us? Assassinate him? We lose stability to get political power. I like stability, so, let, you know, let's leave him be. Let, let, let's just, you know, let him hang out, you know? 
he, he won fair and square. Just let him be. Just let him be. Now I'm going to focus on Burgos up here. Ah, that's a little bit too much. Cool, let's go over here. Maybe we can have a little good times. So maybe just let these guys roll around in their little barrels. Attempt on Featherston's life. Oh no, there's been an attempted assassination of Jake Featherston. While keenly watching the swimming competition, a black Frankfurter vendor reportedly pulled a submachine gun on the president and opened fire. As chaos ensued, a private, nearby private investigator in the crowd, Clarence Potter, pulled a pistol strapped to his side and shot the assassin right in the head. Though having killed dozens of civilians and bodyguards, nobody is yet sure if Featherston had been hit by the spraying bullets. As the entire stadium began evacuation, Richmond entered total lockdown, sealing anyone entering or leaving the city. Because of this, reports have not yet come in on the status of the president's life, though many already fear the worst. So, what happened to this Drew Durnell? Well, we gotta keep an eye on the heir apparent, or the reign of Featherston, or the night of the Paris. I'm just gonna continue, though, in this campaign with Featherston, because he is... The chosen one. The president has been killed? I don't think so. I don't think so. The president has survived. The Olympic Games can't continue. It's going to take more than just a couple guys or one guy trying to shoot at him to kill him off. Give me that 10%, man. I love that 10%. Potter's plot, though. Clarence Potter. The private investigator who has just saved Jake Featherston's life has been planning an assassination of his own for months. By pure coincidence. The attempted assassination by the black vendor and Potter's plan were planned for the same day, and he was never given the chance to go through with it. However, with Richmond and the city in a state of chaos and panic, Potter may have another opportunity to go through with his plan. This could be the end of Jake Featherston. Oh, I think he got kind of cold feet, but you know what? We got to end today's episode there. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. I have a Discord uh, channel or server. If you'd like to join me there, consider going to the description of this video to the bottom. Uh, right below the video and go ahead and join me there cool regardless i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow